right, what's going on, guys? It's Jeb. We're back here over on some more X Defiant, and we're here for the uh, final, like, 15 minutes of the game, so I'm just gonna queue up a game, some domination. Currently level 30. I played a good amount last night, and I also did a good amount of uh, little tests with connections and stuff, because general feedback that I'm seeing about X Defiant is everybody that enjoys X Defiant are actually enjoying this playtest. Obviously, the netcode still has some issues, but there was this one clip in particular that was going around that I simply haven't been able to replicate. There was a clip going around. They got a good amount of feedback, but everybody that I know is not experiencing anything close to this. There's a video going around of a guy literally letting off like 15, 20 shots into somebody that's just standing there. No hit markers whatsoever. Bullets are going straight through them, and then the hit markers start counting, and then they just end up dying. I do not understand how that's happening to them, and everybody that I know and have talked to have never experienced anything even close to that. Now, I'm not saying that it doesn't exist or it can happen. The video is right there. It very clearly is happening, but I don't know if it's a very common occurrence or if it's entirely on the game now obviously with dying around the corners and stuff like that i'm not saying the net code is perfect or something like that but what i am saying is that whatever that clip is that's going around showing that i don't think that that is common whatsoever i have multiple clips here of me playing on a connection that is 20 to 30 ping over on east coast i ended up playing on a west coast server and had like 80 to 100 ping felt almost no difference between my uh east coast and west coast ping i'm sure that there is a bit of a difference but nothing close to whatever that clip was showing and then i ended up playing on a uk server where i had 150 to 200 ping and yet again i experienced nothing close to that i have clips of me playing at 200 ping and the hit registration is great it has felt good this entire time every time i've hit them it's hit them i don't have people bullet sponging anything like my bullets are going through and hitting them but doesn't seem like they're doing damage i do have a couple times where like uh, i'll go and shoot somebody and i'll die at the same time as shooting them and then it'll say that they took no damage or something like that but that doesn't happen in gunfights where I'm not trading. I have 200 ping right now. Watch this uh, hit marker. The hit detection's completely fine. I can win gunfights. I just killed four people. I cannot replicate those clips of people firing like 10 times in a row, getting no hit markers on somebody standing still, and then it starts giving them hit markers. I don't understand how that's happening. Like, sure, yeah, the connection does feel worse, but the clips I'm seeing, I, I cannot replicate it. I tried on regular connection, I tried on near 100 ping, now I'm trying on 200 ping, and it's still not doing that. Also, I noticed that some people keep saying that there is something wrong with the movement. It's strange because as soon as I started this game up, I went back to my old muscle memory and immediately all of my bunny hops and shit were working completely fine. I simply don't know what people are talking about with the movement thing. I think people are walking around with big heavy builds with like no movement items on them or whatever and then complaining about the movement because if you actually build a speed build properly, what movement issues? Look at me. I'm fucking moving. I am having no issues whatsoever. I get like four good B hops out of it insane speed there's no possible way you're having movement issues if you actually build for speed build for speed I, I don't know what to say don't know what they're talking about how the movement feels off the movement feels the exact same if not better i'm not coping on multiple tries before on the other test servers i forgot how to do the movement tech on the game and it took me a little bit to get it literally my first game my first movements on the game i knew how to bunny hop on the game no issues whatsoever this guy says playing this game makes me want to play call of duty i mean you'll always be able to play call of duty it's right there it's never going anywhere so don't you worry about that. But again, you can just play both and benefit playing both. Every bullet that comes out of my weapon has connected with everything that I've shot at. I, I've never had a situation where my bullets are going through people. Ever. Getting melted? I mean, yeah, that happens for sure. But I mean, it's no different than getting melted on COD. MW2 was so bad it made this game look and feel way better. But now it's just solid in comparison to MW3. That's fair, but again, not something that you think should just die and has no place. If these arcade shooters aren't for you, then you just don't play them, right? But if that's the case, you wouldn't even be playing Modern Warfare 3 either. Someone says that this isn't different enough. Call of Duty isn't different enough. Nothing unique going for it other than that it's a new game. Is there another 6v6 arcade arena style shooter with hero abilities in it that has this kind of movement and gunplay? Because if there is, I mean, point me to it. I'm not the biggest fan of like abilities and shit like that, but in terms of the movement and the gunplay in this shit, this shit is great. And again, understand, I don't need this game to succeed. I'm just saying every single time a competitor or just a game in general just dies, we all lose. So I mean, if you don't want the game to succeed and you're just sitting around getting mad and hating and shit like that i mean fine we just have less games to play it is what it is i guess it's more call of duty and fortnite for the rest of our fucking lives like that registration has been the same the entire time whether i'm on 250 ping 100 ping
Doesn't matter. That shit just every bullet I fire connects. I'm not saying that it doesn't exist. What I'm saying is in my experience, the same way that they're talking about their experiences, I've had no issue at all. Nothing. If I have to come away from this entire test and then talk about anything again, everything connects right there. The net code is the biggest issue where you're dying around corners and shit. That is it. Everything else, I'm just looking for like new maps and weapons and other things like that. I haven't been getting kicked off the server. I've gotten like two errors, like backing out and loading screens and stuff like that. But those errors never kicked me out of the game or disrupted any flow that I had going on. It is 10 minutes past the uh, time that they said that they would. So, and it's still creating matches. I know it's very last minute, but Nate shot asking for an extension pulled my heartstrings. So we are extending the test until 4 p.m. How many times in a row am I going to get Dumb. Good map, but holy shit. Now, don't get me wrong. MW3 is great, but numbers wise, still reeling from Modern Warfare 2 and how angry that made everybody. So they extended the beta about what? Five more hours or so? Yeah, domination is like, it seems like the lobbies are easier, but you don't get nearly as many kills as Occupy, but Occupy is sweaty. Incredibly sweaty. But, I mean, it's not like you couldn't just back out and then find an easier lobby, right? No skill-based matchmaking here. I also had some people bring up some points about skill-based matchmaking. Beating a dead horse type of shit. They were saying people like with disabilities and other things like that should have their own bracket. And I agree, but that's not the entire sole purpose of skill-based matchmaking. And those special brackets have always been in place. Even before Call of Duty had the well-known skill-based matchmaking system, they still had brackets for people people that were like disabled or incredibly low score per minutes and stuff like that. They've always had that. I'm not arguing against that. I think people that have disabilities and other things like that should have a safe place to be able to play the game. So me saying no skill based matchmaking is not saying anything against people that are actually disabled. And I think that that protected bracket should and always has existed. I think people are trying to scrape together anything that they possibly can to defend Call of Duty uh, with the whole skill based matchmaking thing, or they just don't care nearly as much and they're just playing devil's advocate or whatever the fuck. The conversation has been done to death. Anything that you say, it has a complete rebuttal anything that i say but yeah x define is up until uh 7 p.m eastern now uh 4 p.m pacific so if you haven't played yet definitely go and check it out i enjoyed my time with it i hope that we'll be able to actually play the full thing soon even if it is exactly how it is in these tests as some of the network stuff that could definitely get tweaked it feels like the game is ready to me we have no guarantees with call of duty even if sledgehammer did cook with modern warfare 3 even if they did listen that doesn't mean that treyarch is going to make a good game and that doesn't mean that the following game after treyarch's game Game is going to follow any of the quality of life things that we previously have already known and loved. It's probably going to spin a lot of things and going to make things differently than how they are now. And there's no guarantee that people are going to like it. That's how Call of Duty is year over year. We can celebrate and be happy that we have a good COD, even though numbers wise and looking at it and feedback wise and looking at the overall uh, sentiment towards the game, it is still damaged from Modern Warfare 2 and Warzone is not where it used to be. Yes, the bleeding has stopped. Yes, they started gaining players back, but things are nowhere near where where they used to be. Not saying that they have to get back to pure pandemic numbers because no one is able to do that. Pandemic was the peak for so many people and games. You can't measure against that. It's just not fair. But you can absolutely measure it within the past year or so. And while MW3 sentiment has improved and is definitely more positive than Modern Warfare 2's, it is still very obvious that uh, Modern Warfare 2 pushed a good amount of people away and they are playing other games instead. And even if they are playing Modern Warfare 3, they weren't playing Call of Duty like they used to. So having alternatives is always a good thing.